Welcome back 623 here this morning. You've heard the term buy now pay later, but what does it really mean beyond those words there? It's a really good option to buy things you really can't afford right now. Mm, consumer investigator Kristen Byrne looks into the pros and cons. Can't afford those styling shoes or trendy new jacket, but you really want it. Many shoppers these days are turning to buy now, pay later programs. They're installment programs that thousands of retailers now offer. Buy now, pay later programs are popular with college students like David Germano, who says it lets you shop when your bank account is near empty. It's been very beneficial towards college students because a lot of people are struggling with money, especially with COVID. It has been able to branch out payments so that people can actually afford like necessities such as some food, some textbooks. Buy now, pay later or BNPL divides your purchase into four or six payments. First payment is due at checkout, the rest monthly, like a car loan without interest. And Ufasan really likes the idea. I feel like that would be really helpful. That we should have the option to choose whether we should pay a full down payment or um, do month to month. If you cannot make the payment, then it goes into default collection agency, then it will be on your credit report. Neil Peterson is chief credit officer with the General Electric Credit Union. He says if you try it, make sure you can control your spending. The nice thing about the buy now, pay later is they make it quick, they make it simple, they make it interest free but it's very easy for someone who cannot manage their expenses and cannot control their spending to get them into a situation where now it's just actually causing them more harm in the long run. And here's an example of buy now, pay later, not working for everyone. A recent Refinery29 report profiled a 34-year-old woman who overspent, fell into debt, and has now wrecked her credit score. I'm consumer investigator Kristen Byrne.